The time has finally come, my friends, for a continuation of a project that I started a few months ago with this little guy. This palette I got from Another Soul on Etsy for reference, and that is without any spaces in the name, but I depotted my three BH Cosmetics palettes into this palette, and I believe in that video I mentioned that I wanted to do this with my entire eyeshadow collection, at least for the most part. Um, and I'm finally going to do that, but I didn't feel like buying another one of these palettes because it's pricey, um, and also I realized that I don't have to. As many of you know, I turned this little gift card box into a palette a long time ago by using a little magnet to stick inside there. This magnet isn't very strong, but what I did was I bought these magnetic sheets. If I can, I will link it down below what I bought, um, but they're magnetic stickers and they are way stronger magnets. I realized I can just make my own palettes and it's a lot cheaper than buying a bunch of palettes. So as you can see, this is one of them. I didn't mean to make it double-sided, but I accidentally put the first sheet on the lid and this stuff is sticky. I did not feel like peeling it off. Ignore the weird cut. I made mistakes in this process, but it's fine because it works. But this is a little tin that held watercolor pencils, but I figure it'll work just fine as a palette. And I actually can put things on the top and the bottom and they will not clash because the magnet is strong enough and there's enough space to place them without them touching each other when it's like this. Um, so this is the biggest palette out of all of them. These next ones are the ones I realized, oh, I really don't need to buy a palette. This, if you know what my eyeshadow collection looks like, this will look familiar. I turned one of my palettes into a magnetic one and it was fairly simple. Um, this was right here, and while there was glue at the bottom, all I had to do was get something really thin and sharp and find the biggest spaces in between this and here to work it up. And eventually I was able to slide one of these underneath to help the process. And it was a bit tricky, but I came out unscathed and all I had to do was stick a magnetic sticker and boom. Now it's a magnetic palette. I guess I should I should have said this earlier. But the reason I want to do this is because I really just want to make the most out of my eyeshadow collection. And for me, the most fun way to do that would if, would be if I had individual singles that I could create my own color stories with. Because while I do like this color story, I also like having a bit of that creative freedom so that things don't get a bit stale for me. And I made two little travel ones. This guy, <laughs> if you've been here for a while, you know, you know, this guy's been a while, for a while. But it was a very similar process. It was just here. I had to get something in between this and this, take it up. The glue wasn't that hard to peel away. Stick a little magnet in there. Boom, travel palette. And the process was the same with this one. So if you have one of these plastic palettes, I recommend trying it. Now it might not work because, um, for instance, this guy. This, I could tell from the beginning how easy it would be to pick this up, um, but <laughs> it can't close because it needs something here, the way they designed it, which makes it very annoying. And it needs this in order to snap shut. So that didn't work. And another fail, um, this one wasn't a fail. <laughs> I did have to break this in order to take it out, but I realized it's one of those cheap packagings that I think will break pretty easily. And I don't know if I feel like using one of my nice magnetic stickers in here when I don't think it'll last more than like two years. You get me? Um, but if I need more space, I'll use this, but I don't think I will because I also converted this guy, which was already a magnetic palette, into a double-sided one. I had to take out the old magnet to make, to add the two stronger ones in so that, um, things won't get messy. And my other fail was, uh, this guy. In trying to take this out, I ended up cracking the actual base of it. I don't know how you can see that, but yeah, so. But again, I don't think it'd be worth it because this is like that wet and wild type of packaging that always breaks.
out knife that came with these little magnetic stickers that I can find underneath these. Um, my plan is to try to depop these in the pans they are and then use the magnetic stickers um, on the bottom. But if that doesn't work, then I will put them into these little pans, which unfortunately are magnetic and I'll still use the stickers. But uh, yeah, so if these shatter and it doesn't work out and I can't get them out of the pans, I have backups. This way I can actually get to the pans a lot easier. The strategy I'm hoping will work today is the um, heating using a hair dryer, blow dryer, oh my goodness, I forgot what it's called. Um, <laughs> that method. So hopefully I can heat this up so that the glue softens enough so that I can push from this side and it'll pop the pans out. I'm trying to get this one because these shades I care about the least. <laughs> so that's why. Oh, by the way, this is going to act as also a declutter because I don't want all these shades. I'm not going to bother depotting all of these shades. I think I'll just go palette by palette. To start with, these guys are here because I'm just going to declutter these. Um, some of the shades are depotted, frankened, and I will keep some of those, but this, these are just going. Um, I'm going to get other non eyeshadow declutters out of the way. These two lip products, this is. I didn't like the original gloss. I tried to add some lipstick to change the color. I still just don't like it. I don't like the formula. I don't like how it sits on the lips. I don't like how it looks. It's just, I'm not doing this. I like work twice and I'm done. <laughs> Same with this. The packaging is annoying and how hard it is to apply. It's just, it's not worth it. These are tricky. I want to get rid of these because I realized I don't use foundation. Together, they're still not the right color. They're too pinky peach, um, and I almost gonna buy them for filming, but how often I'm filming, that seems awfully silly. And they're just really big, and I don't need them in my life, so. Um, if I can find someone to give, it, to give them to, I will. I might keep them if I can't, but a part of me also just wants to get rid of them. Let me know, what, what would you do? If you don't want to use these, like, would you keep them? On the off chance that you will use them or should you just like throw them away. I feel so wasteful that way. I don't know what to do. Um, but those are all the non eyeshadow things that I'm decluttering. I haven't filmed it yet but I'm probably gonna post my Frank and Lee my I don't give a pan update before this video but I'm declaring this thing. I don't like the color. I haven't used it once on my eyes. This it just doesn't it just like falls. You know, it's, and I don't want to leave the house wearing it. This is pretty, but I have plenty of greens that I love. There's some greens in here. There are some greens in here. And there, there's a very similar shade my Beach Cosmetics palette, I believe. I just don't need this. It's pretty, but I'm kind of sick of it, to be honest. I'm not sure about these two. Just the formula is not good. I do have several shades in my Beach Cosmetics palette that are similar as well. These guys saying adieu. Update, if you've seen my Frank and Lee I don't give a pan update, um, then you know I decided to keep around that one peachy shade for a bit longer to see if I want to declutter or not. I have similar shades to it, however, I do like it, so it's a question of whether or not I should just keep it or not. I don't know, but I'm not decluttering it as of now. One more thing in the Frank and category is this. I was going to use this for my brows. It keeps on breaking first off, so that's one thing. But I don't use powder in my brows anymore. I kept it just in case. It's not worth it. If it can't stay together, then it's more of a hassle than anything else. So this is going. And in here, I will depot these, but I'm not keeping this shade just because I don't need it. I have this deep purple, like aubergine right here, which is really similar. I also have this, which is very similar as well. And between those two, I just don't need this. And this is like a matte with shimmer. This is a matte and this is shimmer. And I'd rather just keep those than... I think the rest of the declutters I'll go through one by one when I depot each palette. Let's start depotting this palette. This is the Profusion Rubies palette. These two are going, not because I don't like the colors or the formulas, but I have basically identical shades in the BH Cosmetics palettes. Um, and I just like that formula better. Then Orbit, genuinely hate the formula. It's not that pigmented, it looks very strange. 
and I don't even love the color that much. So that one's going. I'm going to start with depotting these two up here. Maybe. Maybe I don't need to do this technique. Maybe loosening the, the glue will work just as well. Oh god, I'm just stabbed straight into the eyeshadow. Perfect. Let's go. Yes, it did make it meltier. Perfect. That seems to be working quite well. So I will keep doing that. So the mats clearly are more fragile, and I think I will just repress them into these circle pants because circles are not always superior, but this will be much easier for a sticker to stick on than this. That went way worse than the other one did. It'll be easier to repress once they're depotted, so this isn't like a waste process. Next is a palette that I'm only decluttering one from this lovesick, and I just don't like mattes with glitters in them. Before this gets any crazier, I think we're going to do the repressing for these palettes before I go and move on to any others. is that these look like they have different formulas. This one I believe is from the Moss palette and it's way shimmerier. It's a bit lighter. I think we'll keep both. So that was a long process, but I ended up repressing all the shades that needed to be. Um, basically all the mattes except for this one, and then there's this one shimmer that I kind of stabbed in a weird way. I'm just going to put the magnetic stickers on these ones. First I got to wash the backs of them clearly because they are just a little bit dirty. <laughs> Perfect. 
And look how strong these magnets are. Also, let me know if you think I should keep the little Prismacolor vibe or if I should like paint something and create a new thing. Do you, do you like the tiger? It's a very cute tiger. Now, while we are dealing with magnets, I might as well get to these color palettes because you probably know that their pans are already magnetic. I definitely want to keep these three and I'm going to throw this one away just because it's honestly horrible. Um, and it's the same as this but with glitter and less pigment. I think I want to see if my sister wants these because she's into purples and pinks. I'm going to like put tape on them to remove the top layer so that they're more sanitized. But um, this shade I really like, but I have an almost identical shade in the BH Cosmetics palette, so I really don't need both of those. This is really similar to this, but I just prefer this shade in the formula. And this one's really similar to this shade, and I just prefer the powder formula over that. And I just don't like this formula. Um, nor do I wear this type of pink that often, so. And I'll see if she wants this shade too, because it is like a mauve shade that might be up her alley. I might just ask about these. All right, I have no idea where that left off, but it's the next day. That was a long process and I'm not even close to being done, but just, I want to give you an update because a lot has happened. I was talking about the ColourPop shades. I decided I wanted to take them out just because it's kind of a hassle to have to use a magnet to take them out and I might have partially broken a magnet I had and made me sad because of that. So I was like, you know what, you're done. You're done. But speaking of ColourPop, I did declutter a few. So I ended up keeping 12 from both palettes and I really like the selection here. Um, and then I got rid of five, four of which, one, two, three, four are in here. And then there's one that I just emptied out the pan so that I could use these two. And these four are from the Profusion palettes. I believe this is from the Mauves, and then these three are from the Rubies. These two I had almost exact dupes of. And I had, I, told, I said I had a um, shade similar to this and I was gonna keep both of them, but then I just decided I don't need both and I'll just keep this one. Are they slightly different? Yes, but I don't need both. So I added that. I just stuck little magnet stickers on here and I gave this to my sister. And also she ended up wanting this little silver. I forgot to mention that I didn't get rid of the next one because I didn't like it, but because it was in a single package and I already had a silver from a BH Cosmetics palette that I depotted. And so it was a lot easier to get rid of the next one. Also, I slightly like the BH one better, but I just didn't have the desire or need for two silvers. So I would rather give it to someone else who might get more use out of it than me. And I was gonna use this tin to for myself but um it ended up working out better this way so i gave this tin to my sister i put a little magnet on the bottom of this so that it can stick um and then i helped her declutter herself this is something i decluttered to her but she never really used so we're just decluttering it for good i would recommend not getting la girl eyeshadows at least not these um and then she also decluttered some from this palette, she found that she was only using five colors, and so I realized later I should have used a magnet, but they're just taped in here. It's it's fine. But this saves a lot of space because she's like, I'm honestly tired. I'm, I'm sick of seeing this tin. <laughs> and it's also broken. But I kept two shades from here. It was really easy to depot. I just had to use something long to take the foam out from its casing. And then since it's bendy, it was really easy to just pick up the shadows after I bend the foam to make them kind of stick up. Um, probably easiest depotting process ever. Um, so yeah, these five are being decluttered by both of us. She kept five and then I kept two, one of which I repressed into one of these pans. I just thought it was a really pretty pinky mauve and so I was like, oh, I'll keep it. I don't have a color quite like that. And then I kept this shade mostly just that'd be handy if I want to make a Franken that is matte. This doesn't have much pigment, but it will help it be matte. So I just kept those two. So I ended up gaining two in this process. Um, but I'm really happy about all this because that means out of the five profusion shades I decluttered, only one of them is being thrown out completely. And that is the shade Orbit. And I didn't want to, I didn't even offer this to her because I don't want to do that. That's, I genuinely really hate the shade. I finished the depotting of the profusion palettes. 
So here are the ones I depotted that are magnetized. I've not put magnets on these yet because I might decide to put them in circles, depending on if I have circles and if I have the energy to do so. But they'll probably end up staying in square form. Um, but I will wait to decide. And then I also depotted these three because I told you I was gonna declutter this shade. Um, and it's these three right here from that palette. And then CoverGirl, love you because you're so easy to depot. I consider keeping this as like a travel case, just travel with these, but then I was like, eh, whatever. I have this, which I could easily make my own travel palette and it's not that much bigger. And it'd be a lot, I'd be able to like pick exactly what I want. And if I only wanna bring two shadows or something, I can just bring it in this case. So yeah, anyways, those three are right here. They are really sturdy, super easy to pop out. You just have to scrape off the sticky glue at the bottom, but the pans do not bend like the non-magnetic ones do, and they already are magnetized. So that makes it super easy. So these are everything I have depotted thus far, and I really enjoy how big this is and how little space it takes. Um, so yeah, that is everything that happened yesterday. It's been, it's been a lot, but I'm happy that my sister seems to be enjoying this compared to having all of this packaging. And she got new shadows in the process. Happy to give these to a new home so that they're not just being thrown out, you know? Okay, now I just have to keep on depotting. But I guess I should start with what I'm decluttering. As you can see, I finished one entirely. I'm going to declutter these two black shades. I have better blacks. I think I decided that I wasn't gonna keep rose gold because this shade in the NYX palette, which I prefer, is really similar. Well, Looks like even the shimmers are struggling. So hopefully I have enough pans to press things into. Okay, so I took everything out of this with the exception of this shade because these two cream shades I plan on depotting into not circles just because there's not much left. So later I changed my mind and just repressed both of those cream shades into one circle pan since there was room enough for both of them. You know what, I think what I'll do is I will move these ones into there so that I can keep all of this size pan in this palette. Oh my goodness, silly me. I took down my phone and everything. Forgot to tell you what I'm gonna do next. So in this palette, I'm only decluttering two shades and that is the two glitters. Um, in general, I don't like glitter in my life. Um, but when it comes to really chunky glitters like this, I definitely don't want them on my eyes. So the rest of these I will keep. I'll probably just continue with the method of 
taking them out straight from the pan and putting them in here. Since I'll probably do this right after, I'm not decluttering anything this, from this palette, but I'm going to repress all of these. Um, I'm gonna try to take these out in their pans and see how sturdy the pans are and if I can take them out if I heat up the glue a bit with the blow dryer. Um, hopefully that works because I don't have enough circles for all these. All right, a lot has happened since I last put the camera up there. So, here are what my e.l.f. palettes are looking like and this NYX one, a lot, lot different. These guys are leaving and look at this. Obviously, I'm gonna need to organize them in a prettier way, but as of now, I was just placing them in here to organize them later, but that is so much less space than these three palettes, plus the two ColourPop, plus the two Profusion, plus these, the, the CoverGirl, and the e.l.f. quad. Like, it was just so much. And now it's just, especially because this takes up even less space. I think the Profusion ones definitely repressed better. I mean, the shimmers of e.l.f. repressed really easily, but the NYX mattes seem to be a little bit drier. So as for what I've decluttered, I should count that. From here, I decluttered three shades plus two here, that is five. We have six and seven here. Eight is this single. Nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, because there was a ColourPop one I just dug out and threw away. 18. The tricky thing is that these are Frankens, and so I'm not sure <laughs> if I remember what was in all of these. I know for a fact this has one. I believe some of it's in another shade, but that'll be done soon. So I'm just going to count this as one decluttered. So 18, 19. This has three. So that would be 22. Um, there's two in here, so it's 24. I don't know if I missed something, but we'll just say I decluttered 24 eyeshadows. Hi, post shower Anna here. I realized I forgot to talk about the Wet n Wild palettes, and I believe that would add seven to this number if we're only counting what was left in those palettes when I got rid of them. So that would make 31 total, I guess. Again, the Frankens make it hazy, but I'm gonna stick to that number. And wow, that is a big number for me. I'll have to get back to you on the numbers of how much I have now, um, but you can basically see I have this, and then the BH Cosmetics palette, which has, I think, 48. And we have the shade and the few fragrance. I know right now the way they're organized is pretty chaotic, but I think in a future video, I'm going to reorganize these the way that I actually want. But right now, I don't have the energy nor the desire to do this. So I'm gonna leave that for another day. This is an accomplishment in itself. I've been wanting to do this for at least a year. It's been, it's been a long time in the making. But I'm gonna have to show you guys the organization of my drawer later because right now I'm, I need to take a break. I'm really excited to have the ability and creative freedom to just do whatever I want with these shadows and not have them limited by the way that they're stuck in packaging. Um, I already found myself being like, oh, I never thought about those two look nice together just because they're in different palettes or the way that they're arranged in the palette. So. Hopefully that'll give me some inspiration, but that is it. Thank you so much for watching. I hope that you enjoyed this video and I hope that you have an amazing day. Bye.